And Aaron Rodgers drops back. Shuffle passes to Brees Hall. Brees Hall gets fumble. Ball. Good motherfucking shit, Malik Collins. Malik Collins falls on top of a fumbled ball from Brees Hall. It was a little shuffle pass. It looked like it was a screen. If you were on my show earlier today, what did we talk about? We talked about screens. We talked about screens. We hopped right on top of that good pursuit. We were actually beat. We were beat on the screen. Is that Devonta? Look at Fred with the punch. Fred with the peanut Tillman punch. I see you. I see you, Fred. Let's punch it in. Let's punch it in. Let's punch it in. Let's go. We're at the 39. Uh. Debo Samuel with a pass with an outside run gets stopped three yards shy. When we're running to the right. Okay. I'm looking at you, Trent. A three yard carry by Debo Samuel to the right off of New York Jets 29 yard line for three yards. We're running the ball. I think I like that. I like the fact that they're using Debo in the backfield, giving us a little bit of that pop that we lost, that we're losing with Christian. I understand what Kyle is doing right now. We got double tight to the right. Condensed look with a bunch look up top. Juwan Jenny goes for a short motion outside. Catches the De- Oh, Brock Purdy tried to hit Debo Samuel on a split. Oh, Debo just tried to shade Brock. Don't do that, Debo. Debo put his hands out saying that Brock needs to put the ball out more. I think that's what he could have been saying. Debo ran a China route from the backfield. The ball was right there, but he Brock put it right on Debo. Put it in there. Debo was a little frustrated. He wanted the ball out a little bit more in front. Yeah, that's what Debo was saying. He wanted the ball out more in front of him. Debo, shut up. All right, it's third and seven. Third and seven, Jordan Mason comes down off the bunch to give him empty. George Kittle stays in. Jake Brindle just got blown away. Jake Brindle, what was that? Third and seven, Jake Brindle just opened the barn door. I got to see that play again. He literally got thrown out of his gap. Did anybody see that? That, That looked like a miscommunication too on that third and seven. Jake Brindle got thrown out of his gap. That's not good, man. Offensive line, man. I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you. Going up for a three, going up for a field goal, 49ers, Jake Moody up, kick, good. Thank you, kicker. Thank you, kicker. Thank you. That, I got to be honest with you, man. We're two drives in. We've got three points that we could have got seven off of, but two third down plays. Let's talk about it. The third and two, Brock Purdy's in a shotgun pass, um, incomplete, um, deep left, but Quentin Williams uh, broke through uh, Colton McKivitz and Dominic Pooney to, to ruin that drive. And then we had a third and seven, and Jake Brindle just got completely blown off his, off his gap. I mean, I, I, he literally lost technique, and I saw his body flying into the backfield. Brock Purdy had to vacate the pocket early and get the ball out. That's two drives. That's two MAs by the offensive line that have hurt us. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. But that's three, three nothing. I'm okay with it. Three nothing. But. I want to be able, this is why we're doing this, guys. I want to be able to talk about the game while it's happening. So when we get in these post-game interviews and we get in these post-game shows, you guys can understand what we saw, what we saw throughout the game. Right now, this offensive line is showing that they are not up to snuff. That I'm that's what I've seen right now. The offensive line is, 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 and these are, let's just, let's see if they tone it down. Maybe they need to cut down the splits. Okay. 
Maybe they need to cut down the splits. Maybe we need to have a little bit more aggressive pass blocking sets. Maybe we need to start doing some quick setting, not necessarily doing enough soft setting. Uh, but if I'm if I'm Coach Forrester right now, well, I'm 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 a little frustrated. I'm a little frustrated. You know what I'm saying so. Right now, we're just, I mean, it's just tons of commercials, man. My Lord. All right, can we start the game, please? I mean, but right now, that's where we're at right now. Scores for the San Francisco 49ers, three. The New York Jets, nothing. Uh, We are at 10 minutes and 58 seconds left in the first quarter. The Jets have the ball, and they're starting from the 30. Jets are starting from the 30. I wonder if the Brit, the, I mean, if the Jets, they got to go right back to the run game, man. I mean, you fumbled, you tried to get cute, but honestly, if they would just traditionally try to run the game, the, what do they not believe in their run game? This kickoff is so weird. Drive starts at the 30 again. <laughs> I mean, they've done a lot. They picked Rashanu over the first lo- over the first round, picked up Tyron Thomas, uh, John Simpson, I mean, Tyron Smith, Morgan Moses. It's a revamped offensive line. It's not necessarily a good offensive line, not in my opinion. Um, first and 10 coming out from the 30. Now, mind you guys, as you're watching, you got to understand that I'm a play behind you guys. I'm watching this stuff in the East Coast. So for me, it's first down on the 30. Uh, they got a bunch right. Conklin comes in a short, un- comes short under as a blocker, doesn't get anybody. Nice stop by Malik Collins in the backfield. Right now, Malik Collins is showing himself to be a solid addition to the defensive line, man. I mean, he comes in on. Oh, look at Morgan. This is what I'm saying. Morgan Moses is not a guy, bro. Did you see Malik Collins knock Morgan Moses off his off his line of path? Morgan Moses is not a guy. I love you, Morgan. I love you, but I just I know you. Right now, second and ten on the Giants. I mean, on the Jets, thirty. Oh. Aaron Rodgers with a short pitch out to the right, closed on quick by Nick Bosa running down the line, accompanied by Fred Warner. It seems like Fred Warner and Nick Bosa are showing and proving tonight, man. Right about now, we're looking at a third and eight from, we're looking at a third and eight from the Jets 32. They're going quick game. Oh, the Jets have gone quick on us. I think they're tired of us teeing off on them. They've gone quick. We're looking at, Mooney Ward is on the inside. We got a one, two, three at the top. A three by one with Brees Hall. They're trying to figure it out on the line of scrimmage. Down in the bottom is Conklin in the center. Brees Hall is on the right-hand side of Aaron Rodgers. They snap the ball. Aaron Rodgers gets the ball out quick. Up and over top of Diamador Lenore. Nice catch by Garrett Wilson. Man. That was a nice back shoulder throw. 17 yards by Aaron Wil- by Aaron Rodgers. I mean, that's Aaron Rodgers. You can't do anything about that. Diamondo Lenore was there, though. Actually got his hand exactly where he needed to be. It was just a good throw, better catch. Great coverage, though. That's first and 10 from the New New York Giant Jets. Jesus Christ. The New York Jets, 48. They're going quick on us. Quick snap. Get the ball out quick to Brees Hall. Fred Fred Warner gets him tackled right away for a three yard gain. The Jets are trying to speed up the tempo on us. They don't think that we can we can keep up with their pace. Right now we're looking at second and seven on the San Francisco 49ers 49 yard line. No pun intended. And they're still in shotgun. The Jets finally have huddled up. They got a little bit of life. They just went they just went quick game on us for two plays in a row, and they got a total. They got a total of 19 yards on quick game. Right now they're on second and seven. Second and seven on the on the 49ers 49 yard line. Brees Hall goes up the middle, stopped immediately by Fred Warner. God, he shot the gap from the backside A. That was nice. Malik Collins actually came in there and disrupted, and Fred actually came off the inside of him. That was a nice play. Malik Collins was loaded up at the shade. Ooh, sidesteps the center. 
comes right in there. There's no chance at all. We're looking at third and seven on the 49 yard line. That was a no gain. We're going five wide with Aaron Rodgers by himself right now, going empty. He's calling out different protections to the offensive line. I think that he sees that the Niners are not blitzing, and he wants to get a better look at something more baked. They got four seconds left to snap the ball. He gets it off. Aaron Rodgers gets three steps, drops. Oh, nice in-cut catch to Garrett Wilson. Even Aaron Rodgers thought it was cold. (laughs) 